What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys the guard build that I'm going to make. So if you guys have been staying updated with my videos, you do know that I've made that build, the two-way slashing playmaker. I'm actually not going to make it anymore. I'm going to make this build right here. So we're going to go with shooting guard and for the pie charts, we're going to go with the shooting and finishing badge. For the physicals, since I am going to be running at point guard on this build, I'm going to choose this first physical profile with high speed, high acceleration. And this build is going to be an all out offense build. So I'm going to max the finishing, then I'm going to put the post hook down a little bit so I can still have 21 finishing badges. I'm going to do the same thing with the shooting and I think if I put the free throw down, I lose a badge. So yeah, I'm going to max everything here on shooting. I'm going to max everything on playmaking and then put the post moves down. And now for defense, I'm just gonna max out perimeter defense and lateral quickness and put the rest towards my steal. So first of all, I wanna say this is a strictly offensive build and I'm gonna be using it a lot for mixtapes. That's why I don't really care about defense. But later on in the year, this build will be amazing. I'll show you guys why right here. So if I make this build six foot five, I'm actually gonna go max weight just so my strength goes up. My acceleration does drop a lot but i want that extra strength because this build will be able to get contact dunks if i lower the wingspan right here you can see 83 driving dunk but you need 84 for contact dunks and 82 ball control but you need 86 to speed boost so once i do hit 99 overall on this build which i do plan to do i'm gonna have an 87 driving dunk which is enough for contact dunks and an 86 ball control along with an 83 three-pointer so right now this build is good but it's not great because i can't get contact dunks so it is limited in that aspect but once i pass 95 overall and hit 96 I can get contact dunks so this build will be able to finish a lot better even without an 86 ball control if I get one or two assists I'm pretty sure I can speed boost after that once I do get to 99 overall on this build I think it might be the best build in the game at 99 overall because it can do everything on offense for the takeover I honestly think the best one for this is shot creator takeover but because this is an all-around build slasher takeover would be amazing sharpshooter and playmaker so all four of these would be amazing I think I'm gonna go with shot creator because I feel like since at 99 I will have contact dunks and I'll have 86 ball control I don't really need slasher or playmaker takeover and honestly this year I think shot creator takeover is much more effective than sharpshooter takeover unless you're gonna be a spot-up shooter so I'm gonna go with shot creator takeover you can see we have built an offensive threat similar to Jerry Stackhouse James Harden and Bradley Beal. I'm gonna go to test the build just to show you guys the badges. As you can see the badges on this build are insane so I'm gonna get 21 finishing, 21 shooting, and 17 playmaking badges along with a defensive. We're gonna get the defense out of the way. Clamps is probably the best defensive badge for guards so we're just gonna put that on bronze. Now into finishing. The best badges are Acrobat Hall of Fame, Contact Finisher Hall of Fame, and Fancy Footwork Hall of Fame, Cross Key Scorer Gold, Giant Slayer Gold, and slithery finisher gold i looked at all these finishing badges and these are easily the best six to go with i could go with lob city finisher that's probably the next best badge but i don't really think i'm gonna need that so these are the badges we're gonna go with for finishing and now into shooting we don't need catch and shoot and corner specialist because we are gonna be the primary ball handler we're not gonna be spotting up much so we're not gonna need those dead eye we're gonna need i'm gonna put that to gold for now same with hot zone hunter but for range extender we're going hall of fame quick draw we're going hall of fame green machine we're going gold and for the last hall of fame badge we're going with difficult shots especially with shot creator takeover that is going to be amazing so these are the shooting badges we're going with for the playmaking badges i found the six best badges to be ankle breakers handle for days which is probably the worst out of these six so i'm going to put that silver quick first step which is the best out of these unpluckable stop and go and tight handle so we're only gonna have one silver playmaking badge the rest will be gold and those are the badges so you can see this build can do everything on offense i have six hall of fame badges 11 gold badges a silver badge and a bronze badge so there is the build and in nba 2k19 since it was the road to 99 system i know you guys saw me play a lot with one player i ended up making a pure sharpshooter for my rebirth build and a flashing shot creator and i barely use them but this year you guys are going to see a lot more gameplay on guards for me and if you guys did watch my last video where i said builds that i'm planning to make i was actually looking more into the builds and i think i changed that so instead of a six foot 11 pure athletic finisher i might go with a six foot 10 lockdown finisher or i might even make a playmaking slasher that's really tall not necessarily to get 86 ball control but just to get the pro dribble moves on a taller player like maybe a six seven six eight six nine if those can even get the pro dribble moves i still have to look into that 
So I'm probably gonna make a playmaking slasher or a lock slasher instead of a pure athletic finisher. And after I do make this build and I get some of my badges on it and I finish grinding it for the most part, I wanna make that seven foot three paint beast. I feel like it is easily the most dominant inside big man on offense and defense. Let me know what you guys think about this build. I know it's not the best build at 85 overall, but once I do hit 99 overall on this build, it's gonna be insane. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.